Embakasi member of parliament Ferdinand Waitito is fond of courting trouble, but the latest trouble he got himself in is taking its toll on him. Seemingly having learnt that Waitito would come begging for the forgiveness, Kajado Central Member of Parliament Joseph Nikaiseri was quick to beat him at his own game. And I hear that some parliamentarian from TNA have requested him to come here and apologize. We don't want that apology as a community. True to Nikaiseri's intel, a remorseful Waitito presented his case while at the same time accusing the press for misquoting him. What I know I did wrong is to mention Maasai. Because we have Maasai in Kenya and we also have Maasai in Tanzania. Lakini, kwa hiyo matamushi yangu ya kutumia jina ya Maasai, ikaonekana kama nimetumia jina ya Maasai wote. Mimi naomba kubasama kwa wanaichi wa jamii ya Maasai wote wa Kenya hii. Mimi pia ni kwa naamu ya Maasai kwa wale wajui. But Moshimiwa, this is not the first time you are being found in such a scenario. The media was quick to quit. Staidi ya muizi, akiwa ni kwamba hiyo marad grabbers ya mbakazi, siyo maneno inaeza kuisha kama maneno ya kanisa. Lakini zada mi inaeza kuambia, ungekua, unanipongeza, nimerikava viwaja zaidi ya kumi, zile nimejenga mashule pale ya mbakazi. Na nimerikava kutoka kwa rad grabbers. Na kwa hivyo mi inataka kukuambia hivi. Hata wacha bini kuambia, mutu wakifamia wewe kwako kwa nyumba, utaza kufaa tayi na suti ya tu wewe diyo umpikane na ye. Lazima udiri na ye na jia hile hiko na isi. His apology notwithstanding why Tito can only be safe while inside parliament buildings. This man belonged to jail. He belonged to the cell. And we don't believe in apologies anymore. Why Tito na wengine ni lazima wa wakamatwe na wafikishwa kotini, wajibu master kahayo. The embattled legislator is privy to this fact and has a vow to take responsibility. I'll take fully, I'm fully responsible of what I said and I'm also fully responsible for I, I'm telling you I have quelled the problem, there's no problem now. This is not the first time the embassy member of parliament is falling into trouble in his alleged quest for justice. He claims that this is the only effective way he can agitate for the rights of his constituents. The confines of cohesion and peace are some of the great lessons he must be keen to uphold. Jojo Kachi, GBS News.